Hello everybody, my name is Carspeedy and welcome back to Crew Pixelmon Server. Today, I want to show you something real quick that I thought was cool and wasn't expecting when I logged on. I was just over here, smelting some stuff up. I'm going to grab the rest of this actually. And I saw this right here. Fix the double badge you had, sorry, daddy. There's BZ further perpetuating the... The people calling me daddy. Thanks for that, BZ. But yes, we have this now, and if we look up in here, we'll notice that the volcano badge has replaced our second quake badge. I guess that was a mistake that BZ made when he was putting in the badges into this world. So now we have a volcano badge to add to our collection. Honestly, I think this might be my favorite badge, and it's something that I want to put in an item frame with the rest of these guys whenever I do um, build my house, or I might just live out of a gym and have like a house and quarters in the back of the gym. Now, speaking of the gym, I talked about it last episode. <laughs> I said the word gym a lot. Shout out to all the gyms watching this video. But uh, we have this little space over here, and this is where I want to put my gym. So we're going to be clearing out a little bit of this today. I'm going to be doing most of this off camera and making sure that you guys don't have to watch a bunch of boring building this. Let me drop some volume real quick. Blocks. Let's drop the blocks down a little bit because they were a little bit too loud. I'm not going to lie. So let's take this away real quick and then uh, take a step back. I think this would be a great place to uh, have a nice little gym in here. And then I'm not sure how to build this. So I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to build this on camera with you guys. I actually haven't seen the comments that you guys left on the last episode because I was really jazzing, jazzing some more. Is this jazzing the word? I was really jazzed for playing some more Pokemon. And uh, I just had to play without seeing you guys' comments on what I should do with the gym and what Pokemon I should have. But I want to get some base features down today and show you guys my ideas for the gym. It's not something I necessarily plan on finishing today, and I actually know I won't finish it today because I don't have time. I have people visiting me right now, and I'm just kind of playing a little Pokemon um, in some downtime. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. So let me get rid of the rest of this, and then I, it's kind of going to be like a stereotypical gym. It's not going to be anything special. This is way too loud. Is this hurting your guys' ears? I feel like it might be hurting your ears. So let's drop that down. And then I think we should have that taken care of. So this doesn't matter where... Why are you still out? Get back in here, please. <laughs> Just chilling, keeping me safe. Okay, so I was thinking that could be the thing in the center of the gym. Are we really doing an execute right now? Earthquake. Dead. Thank you. I'll take two eggs, actually. I appreciate it. So then this comes out four in this direction. Well, this music's nice. I like this. Mus I've been in the music settings like 15 times today. It's interesting. All right. So then that would be... Oh, I don't think this is big enough. Let's make this big enough. Um, so let's do that. Yeah, we want this to be like kind of a cool center section for the gym here. And I want to have a big gym. We can't have like a small crappy gym. Let's do it. Let's go big with this, guys. Let's go big. So that would be like the center of the battle area. And each trainer would stand right over here. So let me clear a little bit more space out. I'm trying to do like the whole build and like talk on camera thing and it never really works out too well for me but uh we're gonna try it today because i want you guys to be a part of this process and sort of know what i'm doing and then i'll do a little bit of it off camera so then the trainer would sit in this little section over here does that look good though i feel like that doesn't look too good i feel like the trainer needs a bigger section so let's let's make that happen we can do a we can do a bigger section but for right now i just want to like kind of get this plotted out so this you would stand here, the, your opponent would stand over there, you'd throw your Pokemon in the middle, and then they would battle in this section right here. And I think this will look pretty damn cool. So that will look neat. And then we do... Wait, time out. They can do better than this. Oh, I got a great idea. So we'll put some cool colorful blocks here underneath this. Ooh, I don't like that this is too wide, though. Hmm. Yeah, that might be a problem. Oh, well, it should be fine. So I was wanting this to be one wide. And then we'll have this wrap around the whole exterior of this place and meet up and be like a rectangle shape. And then we'll build the building around this. So that's going to be the plan, everybody. Does that look good to you guys? I think that'd be a cool little battle gym. And then we'll have some cool like uh, features over here. So we'll just do this for now, get this all settled out. There's a lot of clay I need to go gather today, so we're going to be heading over to the mesa, and I am out now, so I need my crafting table. Actually, we could probably make one quicker than it would take us to go over there. I would like to think so. hi -ya! But yes, guys, I'm sorry that I, I started building this without all your guys' feedback on what you guys want this gym to look like. And I know I said I was going to make it ugly. This section of the gym is going to be nice, the actual battling section, but I do want to make the gym kind of ugly looking in terms of the blocks I use. But I just wanted this uh, actual gym portion to be pretty cool. Ooh, actually, I kind of want this elevated up. Yeah, we don't want people on this level. 
We want them down on the actual battle arena. So we're going to get some clay. I have an idea, guys. I'm going to make this look good. We're going to make this look good today. And then we're going to build a building around it. It's going to be sick. I'm excited. So I'm going to head over to the Mesa, grab some items, and it should be a fun time. So let me get my fly gun out real quick. Could this be any more perfect, guys? Literally, the Mesa is the biome next to me. Oh, and I really like this sand. Oh, this will be great. Okay, so what type of sand is this? Let me get my shovel. This would just be the red sand, right? Oh, and it's beautiful. Oh, this is kind of what I want to build my gym out of now. It's like the perfect block. Clay will maybe just be like an accent piece now or something for the walls. I'm not sure. We definitely got this figured out now. I'm excited. And what is this? Is this hardened clay? What are you? You make a weird sound. Oh, you're just dirt. <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay. Actually, I shouldn't be dirtying the biome up right when you first enter. <laughs> That's a bad thing to do. I'm, I'm better than that. I have more Minecraft courtesy, courtesy than that. Even though it's a Pixelmon series, I still gotta remember my Minecraft. Beldum, don't you turn into uh, Metagross and stuff like that? Yes, you do, because you're just a Metagross arm. <laughs> what a silly Pokemon. All right, I think his name is Metagross. Not the biggest. That does sound right. I'm trying not to embarrass myself, but it does sound right. So yeah, I really want to use some of this uh, sand in the build. I think this would be cool. Especially since I'm going for like a pinkish red theme with this gym because, well, a lot of my ugly Pokemon are the pink ones because they just have really bad sprites. But uh, yeah, so we're going to be grabbing some of this and I will be back with you guys over at the gym. Hmm. Now do I want to level my Aggron up eight more levels or do I just want to grab this one? I know I'm gonna, so you guys get mad at me in the comment section because you're like, it pisses me off that Speedy like doesn't level up his own Pokemon, would rather just catch it at a higher level, but why would I want to go, I know, I know, I know the event, what is this thing? Did you guys see Optimus Prime over here? What are you? Oh my god, I'm going to grab that thing next. Okay, so we got a level, what's it called, 58 Aggron here, so let's look him up, make sure we don't accidentally kill him real quick. What are you weak against? Ground? Fighting and water types. So actually, let's go get my Blastoise then. As Flygon's just tanking hits right now. Okay, um, Blastoise, let's go grab you. And he used Roar, so... <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> let's get the Blastoise again. So that's gonna be annoying if I try to, uh, catch... Really? You're just gonna keep... Oh my gosh. This is stupid, man. This is stupid. You're being mean. Okay, so let me get Blastoise out. We'll start the battle, Blastoise. Let's do an Aqua Tail. Let's knock you down to there. If this thing does roar... We seriously doing this right now? If it, if it does roar, I'm going to be really mad. Oh, I am not allowed to have you, am I? Maybe I go catch Optimus Prime over there, wherever that thing went. I'm getting this guy. Blastoise. Hit him with that. Take down, thank you, that's what I want. Aqua Tail one more time. Get you down to red, and please don't roar. Where's he getting these hyper potions from? Where is he getting these things from? Blast Fight, Aqua Tail. Alright. Take down, that's good. We want that. Aqua Tail. Nice. Please don't roar. Please don't roar. Headbutt, thank you. Bag. Pokeballs. Ultra Ball. Blast. Give me the Aggron. We want a level 58 Aggron. Dang it. Please don't roar. Please don't roar. Nope. Back. Bag. Pokeballs. Ultra Ball. Just please don't roar. Please don't roar whenever you get out of this thing. Oh, I might catch it. I think I got it. Dang it! It used Harden, so bag, Pokeballs, Ultra Ball. I can't see anything right now. We're catching this Aggron, guys. It's gonna be a third Aggron we've caught. <laughs> it keeps breaking out. Blastoise has died. Okay, that's fine. Let's take our Groudon out here to tank some attacks. Bag, Pokeball, Ultra Ball. We want this. Also, people have been letting me know that having Tyranitar and Aggron on my team is very bad. I guess my team's incredibly weak to fighting type Pokemon. And we captured level 58 Aggron. That is awesome. So, uh, we will be using that. Where did Optimus Prime go over here? Where did that thing go? Did they despawn over time? What was that thing? Can you guys let me know what type of Pokemon that was? Because I've, I've never, uh, never seen that thing in my life. It's probably like some Generation 5 thing. But, uh, yeah, what level are you? Level 27. Let's take out a trainer real quick, guys. Blastoise is unable to battle, that's unfortunate. So let's grab Tyranitar, get you some fun times. Charmeleon, oh these guys are really low level. Earthquake, we'll just take this out real quick. Get some money. Another Charmeleon, thank you very much for trying. And we've won the battle and we get 868 Pokedollars. Okay, 
probably should be wasting our time with with trainers that aren't the ones that give you a lot of money because uh, I've been told that the blue trainers give you a lot of money so those are the ones I'm probably going to be battling in the future unless they're really high level I might take them out to get some experience but wasting my time on trainers like that might not be worth it so let me grab some more of this because we have a lot of this but we need more of this I think we found the world's dumbest nurse John because look at this guy I'm sorry I can't find an available healer nurse John there's two right here you dumb shit I'm so sick of clearing out dirt it's not fun! I'm not having fun! I'm joking, I'm having a great time. Okay, so let's do this. Um, we're gonna have a pillar of this stuff is gonna be where the trainer stands here, because honestly, this is kind of an ugly block. <laughs> so it kind of does the job pretty well. And I want the trainer to just be slightly above the battle region, so we're gonna have this too high. Hopefully you guys like how that looks. I know that might be sort of an interesting look, and oh gosh, now I gotta clear out more dirt. I'm not having fun. This song is beautiful. You guys hear this? It makes me want to go out and explore the world more. It's a beautiful song. Okay, so let me put down the rest of this in the final section right here. Sorry, I <laughs> probably hate the song. <laughs> I actually like the music in this music pack a lot. All right, so we got all of these in here, so I think that makes that look a little cooler already. And then let's take this right here. And we will put you in there, guys. Change that up a little bit. So now let's see what this looks like from the elevated platform. See, I really like that a lot. I think that kind of looks like a battle gym to me. Um, one thing I might want to do is uh, bring this in, make it look a little less square, and just take the corners out real quick. I think that might give it a good look. So let's see how that looks for us. Much better. It was definitely way too square before. So now we're going to put a little outline around this guy. i got to figure out what block I want to use for that. Psyduck, don't you dare battle me right now, Psyduck. I'm, it's just, stupid Psyduck. I don't know how I got out of that. Usually you touch a Pokemon, you're instantly battling it. And I got really lucky there because I ain't messing with no Psyduck. All right, now if any of you guys saw Jehovah's episode, he and I got some soul sand. I kind of like how it looked and I want to see how this would be as a potential wall for my place here. So I got these wooden pillars up to break up the monotony of the wall. And I want to see if this would look good. Now the only problem with this is it still has the sand texture to it that the other sections of the floor and this little mid border area have so it might be too much like blocky squares going on here and I'm not sure if you guys like that or not but well, actually I kind of wish it had more depth too hmm because it's kind of like really flat there let me try something real quick so I brought it back one more put a little bit of extra red sand there and then we put the soul sand on the wall there now the only thing I don't like about the soul sand is I'm gonna have to go to the end to get a ton of it but I kind of like how this looks Maybe I'll do this entire wall over here and see if I uh, if I like how that looks. So I'll be right back. So I know it's not lit up too well, and I don't have anything to make torches with right now, everybody. But uh, do you guys think that wall would look good? I think it will. I'm not exactly sure. But if you guys have any other suggestions for the wall, be sure to let me know, because I do think I can make this gym look pretty cool. And now, as I'm making it look nicer, I'm starting to think I don't want to make it ugly anymore, and I'm kind of conflicted on that, because originally I wanted to make like an ugly build, and... Now that it's like kind of looking pretty unified and like all looking not bad, I mean, I, I'm sure we can do better in terms of some of the blocks we're using here, but like still, I kind of like that it's all uniform and, and looking sort of good. What are you? You look like a turbine. Hold on, I gotta inspect it, this thing. What are you? <laughs> Whirlipede? Oh, that's neat. Did you guys see how the thing was moving? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't want to battle it, so I'm kind of afraid to get near it, but that's so silly to look at. <laughs> Alright, so, um, yeah, let me know if you guys like this. Um, it could take me a little bit till I see your comments and feedback on it, because I'm kind of like one day ahead of these episodes right now, which is kind of a shame, because I always want to play, and then sometimes I end up doing stuff before getting your feedback, and I feel really bad about that, because that's something I feel bad about right now, because I'm not getting your feedback of what you guys thought about my idea for the gym and everything, and I'm already building it. But then again, I mean, this doesn't have to be an ugly Pokemon gym. This could be my gym, and it's just this is what it looks like. You know, or I could change the blocks out at any time. But I think this is a really cool look. Another idea I had is, I'm not sure if fire spread is on in the server, but I think it'd be really cool if we had some, like, fire pillars or something going up on some of the sides of these, or maybe, uh, I don't know. We really need to get torches right now so we can light this up, because you guys deserve to be able to see this. Actually, let me see if I can make some charcoal real quick, because 
It's, it's really dark, and I want you guys to be able to see what I'm building over here. What are you doing? Oh, gosh. A venipede? Oh, you must be... You must be related to that last pede I saw. Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh. Wait, is, was that your name? No, you're Whirl, Whirlpede. Where's Venipede? Venipede just, like, appear out of nowhere and then disappear? What is happening? I don't know. Okay, so my taters are done. Um, let's put a charcoal in here real quick. We'll get um, four torches, and then we will uh, we'll light up a little bit of the uh, place, and then we'll see what we're looking at. And again, guys, if you have any suggestions on blocks to use, I actually don't know what texture pack this is, so I can't really, like, be like, hey, look at the texture pack, and, like, let me know what block... I already had tor... All right. Didn't see that I had torches, so that's awkward. <laughs> but that's good. Now we have extras, so... Uh... We can uh, light this place up even better than I was previously expecting to light it up. So let's light it up right there, and then we'll get one at the back of where the trainers are going to stand. And then additionally, guys, we have to build the building around this place, so that will be interesting. But I, I actually really like how that wall looks. Like like I said, it's a little too, like, a, I don't know, speckly, because there's all the speckles on both of these blocks. But I really like it, and I think that could turn out well. I would give you a more um, bigger sample of what this could look like. But I only have three soul sands left, so I'm not going to be able to do that. But, uh, oh, gosh, what was that? <sighs> There's no Enderman, right? Did, some, did a Pokemon use teleport outside of... Shadow's here. Shadow has to be here. Shadow? Shadow has to be just chilling near me, right? Where are you at? Am I getting pranked right now? Am I on Ashton Kutcher's show? I'm like really terrified right now. He had to have just gone right next to me and done teleport. That was right on my back. Like if if I was... Oh, really? By the waterfall. <laughs> I swear this dude just played a... I don't, I don't know what just happened. Okay, I'm just going to benefit of the doubt. Did you guys... Did you guys hear that? I heard like a damage noise. Carry on. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of there. I feel like I just got pranked. I don't know what just happened. Either way, guys, um, I think that's the last thing we're going to do with this today. But I just wanted to show you that we uh, we have this started. And I'm really excited for this, actually. Because I, I did not expect to get this much done today. I was expecting maybe to get this border set in and maybe like kind of... I don't. I just didn't expect to get this much done. So I'm really happy with how this looks. Actually, would this look better? Gosh, I, I can't stay away from it. Would this look better? I don't like that that was like so choppy looking there. Ooh, what about bringing this in on the corners? Oh, gosh. I think this is definitely going to do it. This is going to round it out a little bit more. Let's go take a look at it now. I hate eating. There's no reason I should have to eat if I'm playing Pokemon. Stupid Ash Ketchup never ate. Yeah, he did in the show, but not... Oh, that looks so much better, I think. Maybe we can even mess with the shape a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of opportunities to make this look cooler. So, maybe we, uh... Do you guys like how this looks? Well, I think this could look good. Let's let's see. Let's take this out. Yeah, let me know if you like this before or afterwards. Man, I just have so much uh, comment feedback today. <laughs> Or is that too much of a too much of like a circly pattern? I like that a lot more personally. It's a little busy, but um, I really like it. So, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. I would love to hear them. And uh, yeah, cool. Put some torches in the middle there. I'm gonna go grab some soul sand in case you guys like it. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll do my best to make this gym look cool and neat. And uh, even for the time being, even if we can't get, like, a, a building around this, if we could just finish this gym section right here, I think that'd be really cool. And also, I should probably mention, the entrance to the gym is going to be right through here. So uh, there's going to be, like, a entrance to the building, and then you would enter into the actual gym portion of the building right here. So should have probably mentioned that, but that's what I'm looking for. Maybe, like, an arch entrance into it, and it should be pretty cool, like a dome roof type. Oh, I'm... I'm really excited for this because I haven't like built in Minecraft in a long time, and I am just and typically I build like houses and stuff. So building like a, a battle gym is just something fun and new to me, and I'm really I'm really excited for this, bro. You just can't stay away, can you? You just can't. 
guys, I stumbled upon this chap over here, a level 81 trainer, and what I've heard from BZ is this is the hardest of the trainers. He's not the actual master of the entire area, but he is the master of the Taiga region, and he is the hardest one, so sadly, I'm not going to battle this guy yet, because from what I've heard, he has incredibly high level Pokemon, and it's not something I want to be a part of. Also, I was asking Shadow earlier if he was recording. But I guess not, because I wanted to ask him some questions. But now I'm recording, and I don't want to do it now. Anyway, um, this guy's incredibly high-leveled, and not something I want to be battling today. But I just wanted to show he was over here. And uh, we're just going to pace around him awkwardly. Oh, gosh, he's staring at me. Okay, so maybe we go over here and train, train against some of these guys. Let's see if there's any high-level. Level 33, and what are you over here? 14, so let's battle this trainer. We don't want to do some battling today, guys. This is going to be kind of a joke, though, because it's so low-leveled. One fly gun, attack this Pidgey, level 34 Pidgey. What a joke! Just dragging that thing to death real quick. And a Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto, sorry. Although, I've. What is the correct pronunciation of that? How much money? Yeah, see, 2,000 Poke Dollars, guys. That's a great deal. That would buy me like two Pokeballs. <laughs> what level is this Heracross? I wouldn't mind getting one of these on the team. 58 Heracross? Fuck yeah, dude. Get over here, Heracross. I actually really like Heracross, and I believe it's a fighting bug type. Let me look up Heracross real quick. It is fighting and bug. I have no fighting on my team at all, so I would actually really like to grab this guy. Let's just hit it with a Dragon Breast, see if that does much. It won't do much, but it'll paralyze you. And then let's hit it with a Hyper Beam? That shouldn't do too much, right? Yeah, we just want to knock this thing down ever so slowly and eventually catch it. I don't care if he kills my fly. I, I actually did care that he killed me, my god. Okay, uh, <laughs> Agron, we'll send you out. This new Agron's really shitty right now. It doesn't have any good attacks because uh, I just got it and didn't put anything good on it. So we're just going to hit it with a nice little headbutt real quick, a cheeky headbutt. I think we can hit it with one more of those. Might be kind of risky. Let's do it. Hopefully we don't kill this thing. Oh, that is perfect. This is exactly where we want it. Let's grab this guy real quick. Pokeballs, Ultra Ball. I would love to have a level 58 Heracross. I was telling you guys I really liked Heracross growing up, and then recently decided it wasn't my favorite thing in the world. But, um, because I don't know, it just doesn't look as cool as it did when I was younger. Is that is that weird to say? I don't, it just looks kind of derpy now. I'll throw him out here. Actually, I won't have him in my lineup whenever I get it, but come on, Heracross. Yes! We got a level 58 Aggron today and a level 58 Heracross. That is amazing. Oh, cool. We can look at this one over here. So this is what I just... Did it really just disappear? Am I seeing things? There was just a Heracross here, right? Correct? Please? Did you fall down this hill? Heracross? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Heracross? Get away from me, Pikachu. Okay, so we're going to go to the Poke Center and um, look at this Heracross and see if there's anything special or cool about him. Does anyone know why I take damage when I'm just trying to ride my Blastoise? Is it because he's a water Pokemon? Get Jesus, Blastoise almost killed me. Someone please teach me why that's happened to me. So guys, I need your help. I know I have a ton of questions I already asked you guys today about um, what I should do with my gym. But do I keep Tyranitar and Aggron on my team? I like both of them. All Is Shadow trolling me again? What are these noises from? Gosh. Everything is going wrong. Um, but yeah, it would really be awesome if you guys could tell me um, what Pokemon I should keep on my team. Additionally, I really don't like this Raichu, guys. I would love to get a different Electric-type Pokemon on my team. Like, Raichu's cool, but I know I could... Let me just look at it real quick. Do I really like you? Oh, you're so cute. I'm so... I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that at all, buddy. Get back here. So, let me grab this Heracross real quick. Um, you are right here. We will switch you for Aggron temporarily. Because I've been told my team is incredibly weak to fighting type Pokemon. So if we were to grab a Heracross here, that's not going to necessarily... That would that would help us because I believe... Let me just look it up real quick. So um, Aggron is times two weak, right? It's times four weak to ground and fighting. Let me see what Tyranitar is weak to. Tyranitar... You are times four weak to fighting as well. Um, is anything else on my team weak to fighting? Jeez. But yeah, so I don't know if we should keep this Heracross on our team or not. Let's take a look at him real quick. So I did want to look at that other Heracross, but it wasn't it wasn't cooperating and then it disappeared. So yeah, you're pretty cool looking. <laughs> you're so derpy. I like him though. I don't know. So we need to figure out if we want this guy on our team or if we want the Aggron on our team. But from what I've read in the comments, it is not smart to have I. Aggron and Tyranitar because of the 
times four weakness to fighting. So I think it might be good to go with Tyranitar instead. He's higher level and a very good Pokemon. So I think we might go with Tyranitar. And then just give me your feedback, guys, because I, I need a little bit of help when it comes to this. God, you are so stupid. <laughs> All right. So let me look at a um, little bit of information. So he's an ordinary size here. It looks like he is a physical attacker. So that's pretty cool. Um, he has Tackle, Leer, Counter, and Megahorn. So we're going to need to get some better moves on this guy, although Megahorn looks like it's pretty strong. Has 120 power. Using its tough and impressive horn, the user ramps into the target with no let up. And then we got this, and Leer is pretty crappy, but then we got Tackle. A nice strong tackle, everybody. So we'll be working on his type advantages, and, well, his moves. I don't know why I said type advantages there. We'll be working on his moves, trying to make him better, and that is the goal if we do decide to use him on the team. A lot of my Pokemon need to uh, hit up a move tutor or uh, get some new Pokemon moves on him. Pokemon moves, what am I saying? Like, look at this. We can do better with this guy. We can do better with all of our Pokemon. So, yeah. Eventually, I think I'm just going to do an episode where I show... Once I get the team I actually want, I'm going to show you guys all my Pokemon and let you guys maybe give me some feedback about what I should have on my team. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of Crew Pixelmon. We will see you guys next time, and bye-bye.